Dispatch, this is Adam David 5 requesting wants and warrants on a coral and white Ford Coupe. Florida license plate G S Q 74 K. Over. Roger, Adam David 5, stand by. did a nice job here. Thank you, sir. It's a good thing you found him when you did. A couple days that water table would have really bloated him up. I've got some here. Oh, Christ, another one? Listen, you go back and get forensics, okay? Yes, sir. Let's get it out. Tommy on three. One, two, three. Local wood sculptor and convicted serial killer Vincent Gatto is in the news once more. 
With his new execution date less than a week away, his attorney has filed for a commuted sentence with the State Court of Appeals, and his future is being decided now in this very courthouse. Uh, Your Honor, if uh, Ms. Garrick has some new evidence she wishes to share with this court, the people will be more than happy to review it. Do you have new evidence, Counselor? Well, not exactly, Your Honor. I'm afraid my client is notoriously uncooperative. But while reviewing the original investigator's notes, I discovered several discrepancies. I believe, if given enough time, I can account for my client's whereabouts during at least two of the alleged homicides. But your client was never convicted for either of these crimes, was he? Uh, no, Your Honor, he wasn't. He wasn't even charged. He was charged and convicted of only one murder, the murder of his own son. Ms. Garrick has thrown up an elaborate smokescreen at the people's expense. Your Honor, I object to Mr. Silverman's implication and attitude. But his argument is not without merit. An alibi for a murder that your client was never charged with is not valid grounds for an appeal. But Judge Olson referred to the other homicides during sentencing. So even though my client was never tried as a serial killer, he was convicted and sentenced as one. What are you doing up? I feel dead. All right. Come on, young lady. Back to bed. All right. You all settled in now? You don't have to go to the bathroom? No. You don't need a drink of water? <laughs> no. Okay. Good night, sweetheart. dreams about daddy him and his new girlfriend they were both dead oh. oh sweetheart daddy's fine do you want to call him just to be sure i bet he's still up it's not that late in los angeles no oh, thanks all right well maybe later hey maybe we could invite him to your birthday party hmm? i think i want to go sleep now okay friend all right another one of your jokes what are you talking about you asked for this stuff what prison impounds dropped it off they had an evidence requisition request with your signature oh christ i completely forgot i asked for this stuff three months ago thought it might help with the appeal oh well better late than never when's the decision tomorrow and if the judge says no I'm all set to ask the governor for a stay of execution never happen not in an election year and when she reached the edge of the cliff Matilda looked down at the big green ocean 
And then she pulled the hand mirror out of her backpack and stared into its shiny surface. Matilda's reflection was still beautiful, and the mirror's frame and handle were still made of gold and crusted with jewels. But Matilda was no longer blinded by the beauty. She dropped the mirror into the ocean and ran home, happy. Happy to be just plain Matilda. So, who can tell me the moral? Beth? The moral? <laughs> you were listening, weren't you? Yes, sort of. That's what I thought. Zoe, would you care to give Beth a hand? I think what it's saying is that bad things don't always look bad. Sometimes they even look good. So you think the mirror is a bad thing? Well, when Matilda finds it, she thinks it's going to make her beautiful and popular. But all it really does is make her stuck up and mean. <laughs> what do you think, Beth? Is Zoe right? Uh, um, yeah, I guess. Well, then, when the two best students in the class agree, then it must be right. Okay, next week we're going to start Dr. Doolittle. Good. Beth loves to do little. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a long shot, but I filed an appeal to have your sentence commuted to life. The judge is taking a few days to think about it, which is possibly a good sign. At least you didn't deny it right away. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about saving your life. Why? What do you mean, why? Listen to me. I killed my son. Even if I were free, my life would be meaningless. So tell me, why would I want to extend it here in this hell hole? But I know you didn't commit those other murders. And that means the real killer is out there somewhere. There's no one out there. What? The other children? I murdered them. Then why have you kept silent all this time? Huh?
she was crazy. Yeah, come on. You show her I was at school today. Nothing special. Your mother tells me you had another nightmare. Don't you think we should talk about it? No. When somebody hurts us, Somebody we've trusted. It's natural, even healthy, to be angry with them. It's part of the healing process. But it's time to move on, Zoe. You have to learn to forgive him. Forgive who? Well, you can be sure it's not going to happen again. I hope not. No, I understand. Again, I'm really sorry. All right, bye. Zoe, that was a Mrs. Wayne. She's understandably upset, considering she just came back from the hospital where her daughter had two stitches in her ear. She said you bit her. She started it. I don't care who started it. We don't bite people in this house. Hello. Oh, hi, Warren. Good timing. Yeah, Zoe had another fight at school today. I know that. I can't exactly follow her to classes all day. Here, you talk to her. Zoe, it's Daddy. Hello, Zoe. Zoe? Hello? Hello? Zoe? Warren, I'll call you later. Okay. Bye. You're grounded, young lady. No TV and no playing after school for two weeks. You know, her birthday is this Friday. Oh, shit. Well, she's grounded till then. May I come in? Can I get you anything? How about a Mrs. Pickerwick, hmm? Nah, she's mad at me. I forgot to brush her tail. But Walter says he wants to sleep with me at night. What else is a no? Walter always wants to sleep with you. Why she always take everyone else's side? She does, Anani. She's under a lot of stress right now. So we have to try and help her out as much as we possibly can. I do try, really. Everything always turns out all wrong. Your argument has been well thought out and presented, and I have given it a great deal of consideration. And although I believe you may have a valid point about the circumstances surrounding your client's sentencing, the fact remains that in the eyes of the law, a one-time murderer is just as guilty as a multiple murderer. Therefore, I can find no justification in overturning Judge Olson's original sentence. Motion denied. Jennifer, is this your last hope? Will, will you appeal the court's decision? Vincent Gatto is a victim of public opinion and media hype. 
A broadcast here the night referred to him as a convicted serial killer when in fact he's not a convicted serial killer. Okay. Will you be a witness of the execution? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Can I help you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. No, it's okay. Are you a member of this parish? No, no. Actually, technically speaking, I'm not even a Catholic anymore. I was divorced last year. That's okay. This isn't a Catholic church. It's Episcopalian. It's uh, sort of like Catholic light. <laughs> <laughs> Could I, um, uh, buy you a cup of coffee? <sighs> so I quit the firm, and I took a position at the public defender's office. It's a lot <laughs> less money, but the shorter hours allow me more time with Zoe. Seems as though you've managed to make the best of a difficult situation. Why is that? Zoe's been having these... horrible, violent nightmares lately. Ever since I became a PD, her, her therapist thinks she has a lot of repressed hostility. Oh, I... You think your job is taking its toll on her? Not just on her. You know, I, I deal with a lot of bad people in my job. Out of them on the street. And the first time I had a client that I thought was actually innocent, I couldn't save him.
You did everything you could, Jenny. Let it go, or it'll tear you up inside. How could the man who made this have murdered his only child? Evil comes in all shapes and sizes. Maybe he did kill all the others. No. All the other children were beaten with a blunt object. His son was strangled. So? So why the different M.O.? Maybe the other murders were planned, but his son was spurred a moment. What do you mean? Maybe his son found out what he was doing and he had to get rid of him. Fast. No. God, it was definitely protecting someone. But the killing stopped after he was arrested, right? So how do you explain that? Residence. Sophia, hi, it's me. Hey, did, did Warren remember to call Zoe? Yeah, but uh, she wouldn't come to the phone. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. Sorry I'm late. Can I get under here? Well, get there. Hi. You're gonna ask. Oh. Hey, I was about to send out a search party for you. I wasn't done when I got there, and then I had to go over town to do that damn thing. All right, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just time out. Relax. David, I can't. The kids are going to be here any minute. Sophia and I can handle it. I I've got a trunk full of stuff in the car. I just... I can get it. I will get it. Why don't you go and change clothes and relax, and I'll call you when everybody gets here. In the decorations are done. I, I still have to get... David. No. David, no, come no. on. You can't. No. But you... No but. Go on. Take a hike. Don't mess up. <laughs> Thanks, I owe you. That's true. And I'm gonna collect later. Spotted it before I could get it wrapped. Where'd you find that thing? It looks hand carved.
<laughs> Zoe, you'll have to forgive David. Would, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, why don't you leave those? I'll do those tomorrow. Oh, I don't mind. No, come on, it's late. I'll do them in the morning. You sure? Yeah, you've done enough. All right, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Hey, you. Hey, you. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Good one, kiddo. So he scared the living daylights out of me. Come on, Mommy. It's just a little puppet. Oh, no, no. It's not just any puppet. This is Pinocchio. Pinocchio wasn't scary. He was good. Oh, you think so, huh? Wasn't he? Yeah. That's the only way he could become a real live boy. He had to be good. Well, that's true. And he tried to be good. He tried really hard. But he kept giving in to temptation and doing these really bad, bad things. And that's why the blue fairy made his nose grow longer every time he told a lie. And that's why she gave him a cricket to act as his conscience, to try to keep him from doing these really bad, bad things. But nothing ever worked. And now, he's coming after you! <laughs> so, did you have a good time tonight? Yeah. <laughs> good. Hey, Sophia said Daddy called to say happy birthday. Sweetheart, Daddy loves you very much. He was just upset. It's the first birthday he's ever missed. Pinocchio says he wants to sleep with me at night. Pinocchio's fine where he is. And remember, Pinocchio's just visiting until you get your real present, okay? Besides, he wouldn't want to sleep next to Walter. Why not? Because he got swallowed by a whale, remember? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, Mommy. Oh, I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs>
wish you were a real boy. And I wouldn't be all alone. My Pinocchio. What are you doing in my room? And then David made Pinocchio tap his own head. At first I thought it was kind of funny. But now I think he might have hurt Pinocchio's feelings. Sounds like a great party. Yeah. And it sounds like you and your mom really like David. Yeah. You do like David, don't you? Yeah, he's okay, but... But what? If he takes my mom away, then I won't have anybody. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. How was school? Okay. Can we talk? What's up? Well, Sophia said that you sneaked into her room this morning. Not me. Pinocchio. He was curious about Lay's bodies. Ah, he was, was he? Yeah. I tried to explain it to him after he heard you and David in your room. <sighs> Do you want to talk about it? No. What's in the back? Oh. Well, I ordered this for your birthday. It's a little late, but, but look. Oh, yeah. Is it the wrong one? Sweetheart, you know I have to take Pinocchio back to the office, right? No. He's not ours. The tray's mine. Look, this is what you've been asking for. Pinocchio's just visiting. No, first Dad had left me. Now you want to make Pinocchio leave too? You'd never leave me, would you? No. Oh, all right, but just for a night. But don't tell Mom. Good night. Have you seen Pinocchio? Zoe took him to school. 
I thought you knew. Damn. She knew I wanted to take him back to the office today. Man, Barry. Oh, well, you should see me with a lampshade on my head. What's that? Well, thanks to you, my daughter's now completely attached to that damn puppet. What puppet? The one you put in my car on Friday. Pinocchio. Jennifer, there's a Dr. Edwards on line one for you. Mm, a doctor? Whatever happened to the gardener? Landscaper. Hello, doctor. What can I do for you? Zoe just showed up here at my office, unannounced. What? There was an accident in her school. She claims her puppet pushed one of her classmates in front of a bus. I'll be right there. I'm taking him back to work tomorrow anyway. I don't think that's a good idea. She seems to have formed a compulsive, uh, dependent attachment to it. Separation at this point might be too traumatic for her. Do you know what happened to your new Betty doll? Pinocchio was jealous. And what about the girl at school? She was picking on me. Pinocchio was just trying to protect me. Do you know that she could have gotten seriously hurt? Pinocchio didn't mean to do a bad thing. He just doesn't understand the difference between right and wrong. How long has it been like this? Ever since the divorce. I've been drifting further and further apart. I just don't know what to do anymore. Could you quit your job, stay home with her full time? Does Warren pay alimony? Mm -mm. 
Just child support. I was making more money than he was when we separated. That was one of the problems. And you know you can always move in with me. <sighs> Why not? You know how I feel about you and Zoe. It's always been through enough changes for one year. Here. Spoon me. Bottom line is, the deceased was a well-known pusher and pimp. To tell the truth, I don't see any jury feeling any sympathy toward him. Hmm. Gee. Wow. Um, maybe they'll have a change of heart when they hear how he died. See, your client, he, uh, he hung him on a meat hook. And then he tortured him to death with a blowtorch. You know, he even recorded it so he could listen to it and enjoy it again. And again and again. It's great. Here, take a listen. Deal, or uh, you still want to go to court? I never heard my client's voice. Excuse me? On your tape. Without his voice, your tape is worthless. I'll have the judge roll it inflammatory. The jury will never hear it. Residence. Sophia, hi. Yeah, it's me. Listen, I'm going to be late, so don't hold dinner for me. I have an appointment at the INS this afternoon. Remember? To renew my work visa. Oh, jeez, I completely forgot. Oh, um, listen, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll call David and see if he can babysit. Okay, thanks. Listen, I need you to do me a big favor. So after you stole his heroin, you sold it on the street yourself? No, man, I gave it away to the poor and needy, just like Robin Hood. But the stuff was uncut. Three people died of an overdose. Hey, that's what the box wanted. The box? Yeah. You know, uh, the television. It told me to... It told me to kill him and hand out his stuff. The television told you to kill the pusher. Damn straight. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. I like the guy. Do you mean you, you saw a, a show on vigilantes or something? No. It wasn't no damn show. The box wasn't even on. <sighs> uh, 
All right. I'm not crazy, lady. The box did talk to me. It's bedtime, sweetheart. Good night. Do you want me to come tuck you in? No, thanks. Zoe, are you talking to someone in there? Just Pinocchio. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Zoe, you shouldn't tell people I talk to you. Why not? Because they'll take me away from you, then I'll never get to be a, a real boy and be your brother. You really think we'll be a family someday? You, me, and Mom? Sure, you know I'll never leave you. But we can't be too sure about Mom, not as long as David's around. I know. I can make David go away. What do you mean? Pinocchio, remember, you can't become a real boy if you keep doing bad things. And getting rid of David would be a good thing. The same way punishing that bitch at school was a good thing. Zoe! What are you doing up? Getting Pinocchio. I thought he was in your room. No, he's in the basement. Oh, oh, I'll get him. You go to bed. No, that's okay. I'll get him. <laughs> now, if your mother comes home, finds you up, she's gonna kill me. Go to bed. Go on. I'll get him. Very funny. Get back to bed, Zoe! Okay, Zoe. Here I come. You better get to bed.
Looks like your friend took a nasty tumble down the basement steps. Is he okay? We've notified his parents. If your daughter hadn't have dialed 911, I don't think he would have made it. Pinocchio, did you make David fall down those stairs? Answer me! Did you make David fall down those stairs? No. You're lying, aren't you? You know, Mom would have to spend a lot more time with us if Sophia wasn't around. Zoe? What are you doing? Kitty box. I forgot. I had to bring one for science today. I thought you might want to stay home from school today. No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Really? Really. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Zoe, I found water in the trash. Did you throw them away? What have you got there? Conscience for Pinocchio. So you won't do any more bad things. Well, good luck. In the original Italian version, Pinocchio actually had a very bad temper. And he squashed the cricket during one of his tantrums. Come on. You want to tell me about David's accident? Your mother says that he was very seriously hurt. You must have some feelings about that. Dr. Edwards? I'm with a patient, Kelly. I know. But you said you wanted to personally speak to the delivery man when he got here. Oh, right. Uh, thank you. Excuse me, Zoe. I'll be back in a minute. I hope you're happy. Now he thinks I heard David. Are you sure you didn't? What do you mean? You know. No, I don't. You're the one who slammed the door in his face. Are you sure? Who else could have it been? Who do you think? Oh, no. It wasn't me. It was you. How do you know? Shut up. Did you see me? Shut up. If you weren't there, how can you be so sure it was me? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Yes, hi. I'd like to check on the condition of one of your patients. David Kaminsky. He's been upgraded to stable. Oh, he is? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, shoot, that's my other line. Hold, hold on. Oh, actually, wait. Um, just tell me, what time do visiting hours start tomorrow? 8 a.m. Great, thanks. Mm. Hello? Mrs. Garrick. Dr. Edwards, hi. Could you come by my office tomorrow? Tomorrow? Uh, well, actually, I have a full caseload, and I was going to go to the hospital to visit David. Well, well, if there's something wrong, I'd like to know now. Well, I, I'd really like to do this in person. <sighs> All right. Um, I suppose I can rearrange a few things and go see David tomorrow night. But look, I'm going to have to stop by your office on my way to work, maybe in that early. Okay, good. Um, All right, well, um, I'll just see you then. Good night. mom who's pushed she's gonna have me put away i could talk to him for you admit that it was me not you do that for me you're my sister aren't you we're family but how 
give me life. Me? You have the power, Zoe. You are the Blue Fairy. What do I have to do? Cut my strings. You promise to be good? I promise. Promise to be good? I promise. I'm free! Free! Come on, let's go see David. Mrs. Kaminsky, I, I'm going to be there at visiting hours tomorrow. What's wrong? It's David. He's gone. <laughs> but I, I just called a few hours ago. They said he was stabilized. It was very sudden. They can't you... explain it. He's <laughs> gone. videotape my sessions to do a more thorough case study later on. 
During your daughter's last visit, I was called out of the office for a few minutes. I hope you're happy. Now he thinks I hurt David. What do you mean? No, I don't. You're the one who slammed the door in his face. I want your permission to have Zoe committed. No. But she's obviously dangerous to herself as well as others. Spare me the lecture, doctor. I deal with dangerous people every day. I know what evil looks like. I see it in the eyes of my clients, and I'm telling you, I don't see it in my daughter. Nobody said anything about evil, but she's a very disturbed little girl. She dialed 911. She saved David's life, for Christ's sake. If you don't ever commit it, I'm going to have to notify the authorities. <sighs> of what? Your suspicions? If you breach Zoe's doctor-patient relationship without some very strong, hard evidence, I will use all of my legal resources to have your license pulled. There's some dinner in the oven if you're hungry. Are you holding up? Um, hey, um, where's Zoe? Huh? Zoe, where is she? Already in the bed. Why, is something wrong? How did these get muddy? I don't know. That's how they were when I found them in Zoe's room this morning. Zoe, wake up. Where did you go last night? What? Where did you go last night? Nowhere. Don't lie to me. Your slippers and jammies are all muddy. All right. I went outside. In the middle of the night? Why? Zoe, why? I want to go to the hospital, okay? To see David. Did you? Did you? No, I couldn't find it. I got lost, so I came home. Are you sure? Are you sure you didn't go to the hospital? No, honest. But I think Pinocchio did. That's it. What are you doing? What I should have done in the oh. first place. Don't you move. Wait, wait. Don't push me, Zoe. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you.
Zoe? Zoe. What are you doing with this, sweetheart? Protecting you from Pinocchio. Oh, sweetheart. Pinocchio can't hurt me. Can't hurt anybody. Can I take him back to jail? You know, I love you more than anything in the whole wide world, don't you? Hmm? No matter what. Sophia, Zoe's not going to go to school today. So if you could keep her home and keep an eye on her. Is she sick? Mm, I'm not sure. But I'm going to talk to Barry about working out of the house the next couple of days. Oh, and I'm going to make one stop after work, but I still should be home early. Thank you. Do you believe in evil? It's a job requirement in my business. Uh, right. <laughs> but do you believe it can be a, you know, a tangible, natural force? Jennifer, what's on your mind? I think I know who God was protecting. His son. I think he found out what his son was doing. And he stopped him the only way he knew how. That's why all the murders stopped after that night. Not because Gatto was arrested, but because the real killer was dead. Do you really believe that a child that young is capable of that much evil? The son of Sam. He claimed his neighbor's dog told him to kill. And the guy in the Texas Tower, he heard voices in his head. I mean, we just assumed they were insane, but what if, what if they really did hear those voices? What if some kind of demon or evil force was talking to them, manipulating them, making them into killers? I don't know. I do personally believe in demons. But I'm not so sure that one would take the form of a dog. <laughs> Why not? Why not a dog? Or a disembodied voice? Or television, or a puppet. How are you doing today, Annie? Okay. Can I have some juice? Sure. A little restless today? I'm worried about Pinocchio. I'm sure your mom's taking good care of him. No, I'm worried he might hurt her. That's okay. He's got a conscience now. Remember? You felt it for him.
you done? Zoe, wait, wait, please, come on, let me help you, sweetheart. Zoe. Shapes and sizes. Do you really believe that a child that young is capable of that much? She's a very disturbed little girl. No, 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 please! It's okay, it's okay. I got the poke away from him, but we have to get out of here before he comes back. Zoe! Zoe!
long will she be like this? Hard to say. We'll keep her calm and sedated until she comes around. She's not dangerous. She killed your nanny and your boyfriend, and she almost killed you. I keep telling you it wasn't her. The room was dark. You were suffering from a severe concussion. I know what I saw. Tell me something. Did you see the puppet move before or after you were hit in the head? I know what I saw. And I'm going to get my daughter out of here no matter how long it takes. I hope not. For your sake, I hope not.